with the bantamweight GOAT, Dominic Cruz. He's here to commentate for UFC Sao Paulo. Dominic, there's a classic grappler versus striker matchup. I know you can't give us a prediction, but the expectation is that Mangino is going to be able to take Derek Lewis down. What can Derek do to try and find that big right hand? Uh, watch him versus Curtis Blades. Literally, all you gotta do is go watch that fight, and that's the exact replica of what Derek Lewis wants to do in this matchup. He's gonna keep the space so that he can let his punch count be everything that scoops somebody up from the ground with power. Knees, uppercuts, things of that sort. Not a lot that's gonna come over the top because that allows the shot, and I think that's what we're gonna see. Right now, there were rumors that you were going to welcome Davison Figueredo into the Bantamweight division. I don't think that fight materialized. Do you have a fight lined up? Are you planning to fight sometime soon? What can fans expect? Yeah, I do want to fight and keep the fans. Thank you, fans, for sticking with me. I'm, uh, I had to repair some things. I got three fights, repaired some more things, and now I'm back on track again. So look at the fight beginning at probably 24. Awesome, That's the awesome. goal. Now, Sean O'Malley is rumored to be lined up against Cheeto Vera. Aljamain Sterling and Rob Kalashvili, they took issue with that. They say that either Aljo deserves the rematch or Rob deserves a title shot. Do you think the UFC um, should build off the momentum, the storyline, the narrative between Sean and Cheeto, or do Aljo and Murad have a point? I mean, I think Aljo and Murad have a point but also the UFC knows what they're doing. They're the best promoters in the game in the world. So there's a reason they're making that rematch for Sean O'Malley. You know, O'Malley being the champion, they want to give him a fight that's not landslide against him because he just fought a really tough fight against Sterling that probably wasn't supposed to win. So they're going to give him one that's not easy. Vera's not an easy fight, but it stylistically it makes an exciting fight to keep building O'Malley, building the division, and then it also builds Vera if Vera wins. It's a win-win for the UFC, even if Vera wins, realistically, because he already won the first match. So you kind of got to make that because of the loss, I think. So I get both sides of the spectrum. I get the fighter view saying, all oh, these guys deserve it right away, we're in line. And then I also get the UFC's view, understanding how to promote fights. That's what they do. Last question, 135 is absolutely stacked right now. There's four former champions in the top 10, including yourself. Do you think that Bantamweight is officially the most stacked division? Because traditionally, people say that's like, it's yeah. an alpha. I've always thought that. I mean, I people don't really know the history, but the WC, this weight class, did not exist 10 years ago. It just was non-existent. Me and Uriah Faber hating each other <laughs> and killing each other for years is what kind of built up a little bit of hype. And then all these guys kept coming too because the division started in the WC. Every champion from the WC became UFC champions the second it crossed over because of how good the WC was built by Reed Harris and them. So that happened, the, the weight class started, and it hasn't slowed down since. I'm very proud to be part of it, very proud of everything that happened. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm excited about. to see what happens next. And He's not excited. This being is trying to find the gym. What a, what a surprise. He I'm can't find it. Run. He can't find it. I can't it. find the gym. I found it every day. Where is it? It's, <laughs> it's, it's three stories up. What are you doing out here with me? I'm going for a run through the... I'm, I'm going to You were going I'm to the gym a second ago. Now you connect with this. the people of Brazil. You know, and I'm, I'm a man of the people. He doesn't listen. They're Enjoy. talking, he's not going to listen, your he's going to run. <laughs>